Right, where's this vampire lad? Here he is, man. Ah, here you are. So good to finally meet you. This is the lad that can turn you into a vampire good and proper. Warmest greetings to you. I trust you've already spoken with Ochiva. I am Vicente Valtieri. I provide assignments for all new family members. Please do not let my appearance unnerve you. The needs and tenets of the Dark Brotherhood come before my own needs as a vampire. Now, if you're ready to get to work, I can provide you with your first contract. Hold up. Any shit about vampirism? I was stricken with vampirism 300 years ago while on an expedition deep into the ashlands of Vardenfell. For nearly a hundred years I hunted in secret until the Dark Brotherhood found me. Now I have a family that accepts and even values my unique gifts. Perhaps in the future, when I feel you have earned the right, I will offer you a chance to become a hunter of the night. Good stuff. Right, hit me up with that fourth contract, Vincente. A contract is a secret pact one enters into with the Dark Brotherhood. They provide us with gold and we remove someone from existence. A contract is fulfilled by a skilled assassin such as yourself, who keeps the Dark Brotherhood's end of the bargain. So it has always been. While carrying out a contract, you may have the opportunity to earn a bonus if certain parameters are met. Now, let's begin, shall we? Let's. I'm not sure how you feel about pirates, but you've got to kill one. A captain, in fact, on his ship. Surrounded by his crew. Interested? Hell yeah. Excellent. Here is what you must do. Go to the waterfront district of the Imperial City. There you will find a ship named the Marie Elena. Board the ship and find its captain, Gaston Toussaint. He'll be in his cabin. Eliminate Toussaint in any manner you see fit. The pirates have been moving a lot of cargo on board lately... You may be able to smuggle yourself on board in one of the packing crates. Oh, and one more thing. Get into the habit of asking your fellow family members about any current contract. Their insight may prove invaluable. Grant, see you later. Spill some blood for me, dear brother. Let's get this show on the fucking road, man. It's about time. Um. What is it, citizen? Right here we are, lads. Here's the ship. He's on board here somewhere. What did I do to deserve this honor? What's new with you? The skooma trade is making a lot of money for the tribes and elsewhere. Look at that lad six pack. A lot of that is going to the Renridra Quinn. Looks like one of the fucking Hodge twins. I got nothing to say to you, fancy pants. So why don't you mind your? How goes it? Hello. Here's this crate. Now, alright, yeah, hide in the crate. Now, I don't know if, I didn't really hear Vincente, wasn't really listening to him too much. But is there a bonus here if you don't kill anyone else, maybe? Doesn't say. Right, let's just have a look here at the spells. I'm gonna have to get a bit more... Get a bit more fucking, uh... Right, can't use that right now. Get a bit more savvy with how I'm using these fucking spells, man. Chameleon for 15%. Can't use that either, but I'll favourite it. And I'll favourite Deathly Visage. Ah, lovely, a level up. Just looting around for them fucking alchemy ingredients. You know yourself, boys. Give me a loaf of bread. Need them fucking carbs. I 
I'm telling you, lad, it's bad luck. Woman on board a pirate vessel. <laughs> Back better watch your tongue, old man. All right, Just come on. You talking like that, you'll cut it out. Now, come on. We've been gabbing long enough. Fuck's sake. Conversation of the year. Oh, shit. Ah, fuck, there Look goes out. the cover already. My cover's blown. Hopefully that worked. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Ah, fuck. Fuck's sake, man. He follows me down, for fuck's sake. Get the fuck out. Yup. Jesus Christ. Prick. He hadn't spotted me. According to the... The hood. He actually hadn't spotted me even. Fucking hell, man. Fuck it. Fuck it. Can I sleep? Get that sweet level up. Right. Put another two into personality. I need that illusion. Getting powered up. I need it to get powered up big style. Um, intelligence and agility. I can pretty much keep that as the formula now for the entirety of the build. Until they get maxed out, of course, which they may well do. Just keeping that detect life. Keep that on. Because well, it'll lapse in concentration and you'll have the whole fucking Imperial City weighing down on you. Gaston Toussaint. Where is it you hide? You prick. The minute I stepped out, he fucking stood up like a big plank. Yup. Ah, come on. Fucking sneak attack crit didn't even take him out. Sweet roll, give me that. Right, take all this shit. Captain. Captain. Oh, that's lovely. Nairn root. Good luck, see his base. Right, is there a way out of this ship? A secret way. That was epic. I don't know if I, uh fucked up. I don't know if I missed anything. Any crucial bits and pieces. But either way that was smooth. Smooth like butter. Dripping off my mushroom tip. Jesus. Is there any fucking way off this ship man where I don't have to pass them fuckers? Guess not. Here we go, look. Don't turn around, don't turn around, don't turn around. Oh shit, that is a miss. There's another miss. Did I buy s some poison of paralysis? I didn't. Go to sleep. Go to sleep, would you? Look at that pimp sword, man. Look at that sword, man. See, this is the good thing about me 
leveling Minmir up before I started recording uh, gameplay with Minmir in it because you know everyone's seen the iron swords the the steel swords and even all the silver shit but when you see elvish and glass stuff coming up that's so, that's when shit gets interesting pirate has been eliminated excellent no one will mourn his passing and sithis has been appeased please accept this black band as your reward Epic. it is a ring whose powers are quite useful to those who value discretion the black band. Security again. For eight points. So I have a lot of rings. Ah yeah, I can I remember now man. You have two rings. You can use two rings in this game. That's fucking epic. Why the fuck could you not use two rings in Skyrim? Retarded. Or yeah, in Skyrim. Right, hold on. Let me drop some stuff. I'm gonna have to craft up a batch of potions and sell them. I'm carrying too much. Carrying too many ingredients. Yeah, drop that silver stuff. No one needs that yite. Right, I'm ready for another one. I'm glad you've returned. The contract is waiting. If you're ready. Go on. We need you to stage an accident. Kill the target in the manner specified, and you'll receive a considerable bonus. Do you accept this contract? I do. As I expected. Good. The target is a wood elf named Bainlin. You will find him at his home in Bruma. Enter secretly and avoid his manservant, Grom. His manservant. The floor is a secret <laughs> door leading to a crawl space. Inside are the fastenings of a mounted head that hangs over Bainlin's favorite chair. Loosen those fastenings any night between 8 p.m. and 11 p.m. and the head will surely fall on Bainlin as he relaxes in his chair, as is his custom. If Bainlin is eliminated in any other manner, or if the manservant Grom is killed, you will forfeit the bonus. Ah, there we go. go. And may Sithis be with you. There's the old bonus coming into action. Accidents do happen, boys. And this quest takes us up, up north to Chili Bruma. On the border of Skyrim. Here we are, lads. The modest little town of Bruma. The one good thing about Skyrim. Well, there's loads, loads of good things about Skyrim. But one thing that I did like about it was that. It basically borrowed from this very town. If you look at this town's uh, design, look at the designs, man. Exactly like the buildings you see in Skyrim. Look at the the posts and the, the just the general construction. Those detailed posts of Nordic design. Um, that's that's one thing I really did like, actually. The cross, that sense of crossover. Right, there's a back door into this. This El Kajar's gaff. This is a st sticky mission in some ways. If you get spotted, you're fucked. There we go. So, yeah, wait till about 8 o'clock. What are we at now? 8.26. Let's wait 12 hours. Wait until 8 in the p.m., sneak up, get into this crawl space, unloosen the bolt, and crush this motherfucker to death. The sticky situation is, as far as I know, if you alert Grom and he walks around the house, it like say if he hears something or if you alert him, he'll change position and Banelin. We'll get out of the chair. That's happened to me, I think. And as soon as Baneling gets out of the chair, you're not going to be able to kill him with the with the fucking crushing thingy. So if if anyone sees you or if anyone moves or is spooked or is alerted, just load up your previous safe. Right, so here we go, right? There's El Bane. Bane of my existence. Now depending on your sneak skill. 
it's gonna be tricky to get past Benelin. Benelin. Benelin coughs and colds. Right, there we go. Get up into the crawl space. Now I'm spotted. I see he's after spot me there. Sit back down there, Banelin. Good lad. Ah, yeah, this is the tricky thing. When you crush Banelin, his manservant starts running around the house and he can run into a position where it obstructs you leaving. Give us a look here at this. Lovely. Another hard lock bites the dust. Use your L detect light, make sure he's still sitting down. There he is. Look. Dead it. Now see. Now he's standing in such a position where it's going to be very difficult to get out. So what I can do is check my uh, clothing for chameleon or invisibility spell enchantment and I can check my potions this is where alchemy obviously comes in so I don't have either a potion or an enchanted item and I definitely don't have a spell because I don't have a high enough illusion gives a look drop this novice shit Novice, Mortar and Pestle, get rid of that. Here we go, we're looking for Invisibility or Chameleon. Alright, so I don't have anything that will give me Invisibility. Right. There's Grom. I'm just gonna have to ham fist this. 